everyone, I'm Alex, Canadian CEO from Swing Trade Pros, the world's best trading bot community. And today I'm going to show you guys how to set up our fully automated bot, SAR version 5 in Wick Hunter. And we've been working with Wick Hunter since the very beginning of that platform. And just recently, this summer, Wick Hunter has launched its cloud based hosted platform. And this is such a game changer because before with Wick Hunter, you'd have to run your own virtual private server. Now it just runs in the cloud. And this platform is fast. I'm telling you, it beats out all those other platforms out there and getting those trades in and out as quickly as you can. And what's good about that is SAR version 5 is a high frequency scalper. We're trading on that one minute chart. So we need that quick, quick uh, trade time. So this, this is fantastic. So a lot of our community was wanted to see this video for good reason. And we've got some incredible functionality that we've built with the Wick Hunter team in the form of automation using those risk setting profiles, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys all about that stuff. You're gonna be able to change your settings in Wick Hunter automatically using SAR, okay? Very exciting. Let's dive into those charts. And you can see my man JB has been using SAR version five to bring his account here up over 100% in the course of a month which is just absolutely fantastic gains. So well done, JB. So first of all, you can see here with Wick Hunter, okay? This is the Wick Hunter platform all in the cloud. Now, if you want uh, to have a free Wick Hunter, you can, free with a referral. So you just need to click these links, Binance, Bybit, FTX. And as long as you're okay with creating a new account, which I would say most people are okay with that, you can have Wick Hunter platform for free. And it's not to say it's not an incredible platform. It is an incredible platform. And they just have this great referral system um, so that you, if you sign up with these links, it's free. Or if you have, a, for some reason, you have an account or multiple accounts that you want to, uh, that you already have set up, you can sign up uh, monthly or yearly uh, at a cost, but uh, you know, try to do that referral if you can. Binance, Bybit, FTX, those are the biggest platforms. So I hope you guys can uh, can uh, sign up using that. Now let's dive into our chart with SAR version five. So we've got a fresh chart here with Saul Solana. All right. So first of all, we're going to go to that one minute time frame. Because we're this is a high frequency scalper, we're trading on the one minute time frame. Then we're going to go to indicators up here, and we're going to scroll down here to STP SAR V5. Okay, make sure you got the green lock there. It means you you're subscribed on our website. All right. So once we add that, uh, we got a lot going on here, right? We this is a nice little tip for you guys. You can go up here to the settings. And you see this under indicator arguments? Boom. Nice, clean chart. Okay. And this is doing well, right? When we're looking at this, you can see these are the time frame changes. Short, lower, short, medium, short, higher. This means that we're detecting trend. And uh, you can see a long degen here. Now, we're going to do a little bit of, of cleaning up here. Long degen. Uh, now, if you watched my live stream uh, from earlier this week, you can watch that on our Discord in the SAR Scalper setup. We talk about risking off on our uh, DGEN settings, okay? And by default, it's already at long higher for risk setting. But what we can do is add divergences, bring this down to a medium, because we just don't want to grab this top up here. And you can see once it's done processing, that's beautiful. We're getting lots of long trades going up. Right, you can see that long trades going up, avoiding the top, short trades coming down. Now, if I want to get a few more, you can find this in our, it's called the, the meat strategy, which is pretty fun name for it. All right, so what we want to do here, uh, we want to catch a few more of these medium, uh, short medium. So what we do is we scroll down to short medium settings. Okay, and this is the power of having SAR version five with that full automation and multiple trend conditions is we can go to that 
medium trend condition, all right, we disable divergences, okay? We go to a higher risk setting and you're just gonna see this open right up where the trades are shortest, are, are the best, sorry. When you start off uh, in this move, you wanna capture most of those moves in the meat of the move. That's why we call it the meat strategy because you're catcher, capturing all these shorts in the meat of the move and risking off short higher, avoiding that bottom down there, okay? And capturing those longs going up. So this is looking like a, a mighty fine chart now. So we can get started on the settings. So go to settings here. Uh, we want obviously automatic. What we do is we choose bot platform, WIC Hunter, all right? That's it. And then change WIC Hunter risk settings with trend, okay? Now this is very important. You need to have the risk settings that you're choosing um, you need to have those set up in Wick Hunter, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to do that, but uh, make sure if you don't have this set up, then your alerts aren't going to work. So that that's not good. All right, so now that we have that set up, you can see under each one of these settings, you have very high for long degen, high for long higher, medium for medium, and low for lower, right? This is... This is uh, amazing customization and uh, a strategy that uh, Wick, the creator of Wick Hunter uh, showed me is that you can also use these, you know, if you wanted to have very high and high for longs and then medium and low for uh, shorts, you can do that too, okay? So the being able to customize this is very, very, very powerful, okay? So now that we're done this, what we need is an email token, or as it's called in Wick Hunter, it's called a UUID. All right. So let's get into this now. We're going to go into the Wick Hunter platform. We're going to go to create bot here. Okay. And now I know this is all blank right now, right? You're going to have to uh, get a few settings here, and I'm going to work through this. Okay. Now, what we do here is we are going to select both sides. You can also do that method that Wick was telling me about. What you know, have some risk profiles for buy, risk profiles for sell. But for this purpose, and for most of you, the easiest way to do this is just to do both sides. Okay. And for this, we're going to select all because you're going to choose the pairs that you're going to use on the uh, on the alerts and when you're setting up alerts. Okay. Uh, on trading view. And now we're going to choose our risk profile. So we're going to start with very high. These will be our highest settings. Okay, so now we're going to start with our entry. Um, you can use percent, and, and I always like to say, uh, you know, I start off with 1% when I'm first starting off a bot, and then I'll go up to 2.5%, 3% at most, but I still like to use dollar value, okay? Because I like to, I like to have that gut check. I want to, if my, if my futures account is increasing in size, I want to say, okay, now my, you know, I've gone from ten thousand to twenty thousand uh, dollars, and so I want to make that conscious decision. I'm going to increase that dollar value. I don't want to just have it automatically happen. Okay, but you can use percent as well. All right, so dollar value, ten thousand dollar account. We're going to say hundred dollars, um, and then we're going to do limit. Okay, uh, and then cross. And I, I, I use 20x leverage, but if you want to risk off, you can do one or two. You know, that that's a, a good way to risk off. All right. Now we're going to go to our DCA dollar cost averaging settings. Okay. Now, max active orders. I always like to be pretty minimal with this. Okay. Four is what is what I like to have. Um, and you can even go lower. Okay. We don't want to have too many orders open for each risk profile. Okay, but DGEN, you're gonna have a lot opening. We're gonna do dollar value here. We're gonna match our entry with our, our, our base order for dollar cost averaging. And then we're gonna do limit and number of orders. We're gonna use the, uh, the, the Todd method of uh, dollar cost averaging. So we're gonna say seven here. We're gonna do 1.49, 1.49, oh, I made a mistake. This is actually price deviation. So when your first order opens, okay? So if you if you do a 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.
your first order will open at a 0.5. And with this strategy, you are going to uh, have your orders go down to 15%. Uh, so you can manage a 15% drawdown. What I like to do is I like to go, go 1% for first price deviation. So what this does, is it allows you to have a maximum range of 30%. So more you you can uh, get out of a thirty percent drawdown if it comes to that. Okay. So if you want to know exactly how your dollar cost averaging is going to work, you can go over to our Discord here, Swing Trade Pros Discord. Go to SAR Scalper Setup. Go to the DCA calculator up here, and you can see that we've got exactly the setup I've just been talking about: seven DCA uh, count and. Uh, $100 base order, safety order. And you can see exactly how it performs each percentage that that, uh, that we're using here. So this is a really, really fantastic tool. So I hope you guys are able to take advantage of, of this as well. All right, so after we have that set up, our take profit. Okay, so we're you can, we're just gonna do it simply right now. So 100% um, of position size, uh, take profit distance will be 0.25. This is a scalper bot. So we want to be in and out of trades so we can get the, to the next trade. And then it's just going to be limit. Now, what we can do is use this amazing multiple take profit. And I'm not going to get into this too much, but you, you can use multiple take profits and, and uh, you know, have it take, take profit as price moves up, capture more price action that way. It's amazing, amazing functionality. I'm going to let you guys get into that, okay? You can also have a trailing, okay? All right, we don't use stop loss. When you're using DCA, we don't use stop loss. That is a, a losing game, okay? If you want, if you uh, have stop losses on, it's it's very difficult to, uh, to make a, a profit using DCA strategies. We've tried this, tested this quite a lot, all right? And so now that we've got this, I'm going to show you guys how we can make bots really, really quickly here. And I love the functionality in Wick Hunter compared to other platforms uh, where you have to go in, copy a bot with three commas, or just start from scratch every time. It's a hassle, right? So watch this. I go save. Okay. And then we have to go under view bots to enable the bots. Don't forget that. You get a little message there. But now we can go do our high bot here. We're going to risk off. We're going to do 80, $80. Okay. And that's it. Save it. Right. For, for our medium, we're going to do $60, $60. Everything else is looking good. Done. Right. And then for low, same deal, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go down another 20, let's just make it 50, okay? And this is, these are good starting settings, okay? And then we're just gonna say, save. And right there, you've created four bots very rapidly. It's amazing, okay? This, this The workflow on this is so nice. There's been so much thought, and that's because Wick Hunter has been built by experienced traders. They know what, what uh, the user needs here. Okay, so we're gonna go to view bots now. You have some settings at the top here. I always like to say max uh, open positions four, and you can you know just have four for, for both of these. Isolation percentage is if, if your bot is using up 30% of your bot, then it's gonna, uh, of your account, sorry, it's going to just uh, shut off, not take any more orders. I like the 30%, but you can choose what you want for that. All right, and then, uh, yeah, we've got, you can see, we're already set up here. High, very high, high, medium, low. So that's it, okay? We, all we need to do is enable these, and then you're ready to rock and roll, all right? And now what we do is we run to Signal Wizard, okay? And I have a private UUID I can't share with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blot this out, okay? But uh, what you do here is you go open, you're gonna choose any symbol, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we just need to get the your UUID. We're gonna go buy, okay, and we're gonna do show. And you can see this is blurred out, but I'm gonna go here and choose my UUID, all right? You don't need to copy here. 
but make sure you get everything within the quotes. Now I'm gonna show you here in Notepad, I, I've copied, this is a fictitious UUID. So you just go in there, copy this, control C, even easier. All right, and then you are gonna go back into our SAR version five, just paste this, control V, right inside email token, and that's it. Guys, you have fully automated alerts. You got fully automated risk profiles so that Wick Hunter is putting on the risk as price goes in your favor, as trend is in your favor, risking off when trend is not in your favor. Amazing, amazing functionality. And we're just, we're working so well with Wick Hunter that amount of automation is just incredible. This is what the community asked for. This is what we're giving you. All right, so just one more step after this. So you're gonna hit okay, save that email token. Now we're gonna go create alert. All right, we're gonna select SAR version five. We're just gonna keep that any alert function call. That's gonna allow us to send those trend change alerts, which are gonna change your risk profile and allows us to send out alerts anytime there's a long or a short. And then for our web hook, we go over to Signal Wizard. We select copy and we go over to webhook here, paste in your Wick Hunter webhook. And we're just going to say here, solve SAR v5. Done. Create. That's it, guys. Okay, so Wick Hunter is so intuitive, so quick to create here. And you can see my alert showed up there. It's going to start firing. Now, guys, make sure if you're signed up uh, that you're using the SARS scalper setup page, you're going to see this Wick Hunter video. So you got my live stream that I did earlier this week. You've got the setup video. You've got the launch video. Get into this and then go to your go to the scalper page on the Swing Trade Pros Discord. And you can see uh, we've got lots of users that are also using SAR and, and we're all sharing our experiences and uh, sharing some positive feedback and all that good stuff. And, we'll, and if you guys like this content, please like, comment, subscribe to our Swing Trade Pros YouTube channel. I'm going to say thank you very much to our Wick Hunter community for making uh, SAR v5 what it is. There's a lot of users already on there, and I hope we can we can really see some great use of this automation of those risk profiles. I'm so excited! Please share your PNL on Wick Hunter on the Swing Trade Pros Discord, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining us. Cheers.